Congratulations, Our Lady Rosie, on obtaining the highest honor degree from Harvard. Music. Okay, thank you. Lady Rosie, Old Master has already transferred the company's entire shares in your name, and he, with the madam, in on a travel around the world. What? This old man only cares about enjoying himself. He left such a large inheritance to me. What if I squander it all? The master has been waiting for this day for a long time. After signing, the 500 billion assets will all be yours, and you will officially become the CEO of Nelson Group. I believe you will surely lead Nelson Group to new glory. All right. John, get a private jet ready immediately. I want to go back home. Yes. I have promised Brian that I'll marry him. He must be impatient. Delete it quickly. Miss Rosie's identity is confidential. Okay, I'll delete it right now. I just thought that Miss Rosie is so capable and beautiful. She truly stands out among others. Of course. After we go back, word hard and obey her orders. Brian, Rosie is about to back. Does that mean you will abandon me? Are you jealous? Relax. She has been abroad these past few years. Probably made a good sum from shady work. I have investigated that. She is just an ordinary woman. Once the house and money are mine, I'll break up with her immediately. Really? Of course. Hmm. It's all because your dad asked for such a high bride price. If I want to marry you, I have to think of a way, right? Come on, my baby. Ryan, I'm back. How did it become such a mess? Where is Brian? Miss Rosie, during your three years of study abroad, Mr. Brain has conducted an investigation into your background. The master has covered your information, and he said that Brian is not reliable. Rosie, is this house yours? Yes, it is. My parents left it for me. Rosie, you live alone in such a big house. You must be very lonely, right? From now on, I will take care of you. Brian won't do that. He cares a lot about me. Back then, I followed my father's advice and concealed my identity from him. Now it's time to tell him the truth. The gift I asked you to prepare. Is it ready? He should be at his parents' house. I should also pay a visit. Giving gold bars is too humiliating. I'd better choose these two and keep the gold bars. Miss Rosie, like, let me take you there. No, I haven't revealed my identity to Brian yet. Miss rejected the world's richest man, the Sears family's eldest young master. Really hope that Brian will not let her down. Mr. Sebastian, Miss Rosie has already come back. Prepare the car and investigate her whereabouts. Yes. Brian. Rosie, you're back. Why didn't you notice me in advance? So I could have picked you up. This is... Hello, I'm Winter Larson. You are... Rosie Shine, right? Sorry, I forgot that. I don't like to touch strangers. Miss, don't you think what you're doing is very rude? Why don't you take a look at who you are? Miss Larson is the daughter of the vice president of Nelson Group. What do you think you are? The vice president of Nelson Group? How come a low life like you also knows about Nelson Group? All right, let's go home first. Winter is my friend. Right, 
Winter, I made your favorite cuisine. Let's go inside first. Hello. Okay. Auntie, I won't be having dinner. Today the CEO of Nelson Group is returning, and there will be a celebration banquet. I'm going to help out, and also say hello to the CEO. Brian, I'll await your news. Okay. Rosie, listen to my explanation. What's there to explain? If you ask me, someone with Winter's family background is the right match for you. Marrying someone with nothing and no parents, you will suffer a lot in the future. In my opinion, you all should lay it out right now and break up. Mom! Hello, Brian. I just sent you a photo. It's our Nelson Group's newly appointed CEO. She is more beautiful than that vice president's daughter. Come on, go have a look of it. I'm busy right now. I have no time to joke with you. Mom, Rosie just came back today, and she also brought you a gift. Don't say things like that. Let's go home. Hmm. Rosie, you've worked hard. It's not hard. I haven't come back for three years. Auntie has a misunderstanding about me. I can understand. This is the elder uncle and his wife. The younger uncle and his wife. Uncle Auntie. Uncle Auntie. Ah. This is Miss Winter, right? You're so pretty. I heard from Brian that he would bring his girlfriend back. Your uncle and I came early to wait for you. Oh, so beautiful. Yes, indeed. Truly worthy of being the young miss of a big conglomerate. You're so pretty. Your demeanor is truly one of a kind. Come, have a seat quickly. Young miss of a big conglomerate? She is called Rosie and has nothing to do with Nelson Group. So you're the one who went abroad to work illegally. Work illegally? Auntie, I went abroad to study. Oh, please. What's your background? How dare you? You bought big radishes and liquor from abroad? This is what you've prepared for us as a gift? This is indeed from our country, but it's not some big radish or ordinary liquor. This is thousand-year ginseng, and this is tributary liquor. They are all quite valuable. This ginseng is for aunt to nourish her health, this wine. I heard that uncle loves to drink it, so I brought it. Oh, have a look. How filial she is. However, I've heard some herbal medicine merchants nowadays. In order to fetch a good price, they will inject hormones into products. Ah, after taking it, one might get acute renal failures. Must be careful indeed. Did you hear that, Rosie? You must be cautious. Oh my god. At such a young age, you are actually so malicious. You want to kill me. Brian, come and see. I'm telling you, as long as I'm still alive, she won't even think about entering our family. Oh my, what kind of fate is this? Ah, uh, what kind of fate is this? Oh, quickly apologize to my mom. Brian, it is. It's them who are making it difficult to me. After all, she is an elder? Auntie, I am sorry, but this ginseng. Aunt, uncle, we are coming. Auntie, why are you crying? My brother brought his girlfriend home today. Are you crying tears of joy? This must be sister-in-law, right? I've often heard about you from my aunt. She said that you're outstanding and comes from a good family and is the daughter of the vice president of Nelson Group. This is my boyfriend, who also wishes to work at Nelson Group. Sister, I don't know if you could help out. Come on and greet our sister. Hello, sister. He wants to join Nelson Group, but Nelson Group has its own recruitment process. However, I can give a chance for him to take an interview. That's great, thank you. Send me your resume, I'll arrange it for you. Zoe, stop fussing around. She's not the daughter of the vice president. She's the girl from three years ago. What? Misfortune in the family. Misfortune in the family. Rosie, do you have any sense of shame? How dare you lie in public? What if you hinder them in their job hunting? Can you take responsibility for that? Do you really think Nelson Group is run by your family? Such a young girl. You don't learn something good, but sure can brag. I'm not bragging. I really can arrange an interview for him. Send me your name. I'll arrange it for you right now. My name is Tony Trevor. My resume has been submitted for a week now, and there's still no feedback. 
You really believed it, stupid. Yvonne, arrange an interview for Tony Trevor. Yvonne, there's only one Yvonne in Nelson Group who is the chairman's secretary. Is he the one you just contacted? Rosie, do you know that Ms. Noel is only second to the CEO? You speak in the demanding tone when you call her. You're really too ridiculous. Could she be lying? Some people for saving their face can do anything. Brian, do you believe me? Of course I don't. However, I do believe you. I knew it. I don't believe you can... Brian, have you been hexed by her with a spell or something? And you, Rosie, I advise you to scram immediately. Our family certainly won't let Brian marry you. Hmph. Brian indeed is worthy of trust. It was Dad who misjudged him. Mom, I can prove that. Rosie loves me. Rosie, Mom's disapproval of us being together is all because Mom thinks you care only about my prospect. But I know that you're not. This is Rosie's property at Ode to Joy. As long as she is willing to sign the agreement on giving it to me, it would prove that Rosie truly loves me and not just care about my prospect. Ode to Joy? The houses there are not cheap. At least will cost several million each. Really? Is that true? If she really dares to sign her name on this, then I'll somewhat believe that her love for you is genuine. And I'll accept you being together. Rosie, hold on tight. You're awake. Was it you who saved me? Brian, thank you for your companionship and for all the years of waiting. If giving you this house can get your mom's consent to our relationship, then I'll give it to you as a gift. <laughs> this house is finally mine, Rosie. Let's break up. What do you mean? It's just what you think. It is. Rosie, let's break up. You're joking with me, right? Of course not. I've been tolerating you for a long time. Do you know you've been abroad working illegally for three years and you come back bringing a bunch of junk? What Tony and Zoe have brought is at least valuable, which costs several thousand. And you just bring some no-name products to us, huh? But you just say... What did I say? Say that I liked you. Or I loved you. It was all for that house. You're shameless. Let's break up. Say that I loved you. It was all for that house. You wretch! How dare you curse my son! What the... And you even want to hit my mom? Rosie, listen to me. The person I am in love with has always been Winter. If not for Winter's parents asking for cars and houses. I wouldn't even bother looking at you. Get out of here. Brian, you'd better not regret it. Regret? Oh, Rosie... Oh, one is a goddess from heaven, and the other is the mud on the ground. Who do you think I will choose? All right, then I'll let you see who is truly the goddess in heaven. Hello. Is this Mr. Tony? I am from the HR department of Nelson Group. I'm calling to inform you to come for the interview now. What? People from Nelson Group said that they have arranged a car to pick me up. I didn't expect that she has such power at Nelson Group. Brian, I hope that after you know the truth... You won't regret it. Hey, hey, hey. Where is she going? Go chase her. 
Director Kevin, do you know who we are picking up today? Our president asked us to pick up this person. Isn't this the dedicated car of Nelson Group? Why has it come here? Could it be sent by my father? May I ask which one is Mr. Tony Trevor? It's me. Hello, welcome to the interview. Please get in the car. Okay, thanks. Could this woman really have a connection with Nelson Group? Brian, apologize to Rosie. It was all just a joke just before. Don't let Rosie misunderstand us. I'm sorry. Brian, for the sake of Tony's future work, just apologize to her. That's right, Brian. Rosie has such great influence. Marry her, then our family will definitely be rich. Rosie, I'm sorry. It was all a misunderstanding just now. Brian, why do you apologize to her? Winter. My dad said, today is Nelson Group's CEO's return banquet. It's such a rare opportunity. He also asked me to invite your whole family to attend, thus broadening your horizons. So these cars are all here to pick us up. Sort of. I knew it. You almost had me fooled. In my opinion, you are just pretending and want to fool us. Kevin, do you know me? Isn't this our president? Who just returned? Director Kevin actually doesn't recognize her? It's just an interview with an employee. No need for such a big act. Now, immediately return to Nelson Group. Kevin is a senior executive of Nelson Group. It's not strange that you know him, but how dare you order him? Her identity is what you are not yet qualified to know? Lip, stop making a fuss. This is the daughter of Vice President Larson. If offend her in the future, how will you get along in our company? Apologize quickly. Apologize in front of so many people. You dare to insult me. And you think an apology will be enough? Director Kevin, fire him right now. Immediately. Miss Winter, Lip lives a tough life. His parents are ill, and his siblings are still in school. What does that have to do with me? Director Kevin, as a senior executive of Nelson Group, can't you even handle your own subordinates? It seems that I have to communicate with my dad about this. Lip, go back and process your resignation. I disagree. You are not qualified to speak a word. Could it be that Brian doesn't love you, so you settle for second best, this young driver? Or is it that you have long been complicit? I'm not as shameless as you, full of those love affairs. How dare you insult me? Brian, she insulted me. It's okay. Well, you, I'll beat you up too. Fight back. Come on, stop him. Brian, I'm calling the police. Consider yourself lucky, stupid. Are you all right? I'll remember what happened today at the dinner tonight. We'll wait and see. A harmonious society saves your life. Miss Winter, you really are a Larson. Where is Rosie? Who's this? Seems quite distinguished. I don't know. Still here to look for Rosie? It couldn't be. Here to back up Rosie, are you? Who are you? Rosie has already left with her lover. If you want to stand up for her, I'm sorry. You're too late. Miss Winter, please don't say anymore. What is there to be afraid of? He, he is Sebastian from the Empire Group, also the CEO. Mr. Sebastian, how can you? Mr. Mr. Sebastian. Sebastian, from the company that has been grinding up Nelson Group thoroughly, that the Empire Group? He is the one who became CEO at 18, with an undefeated investment record, a legend in the industry. Mr. Sebastian, what are you looking Rosie for? Did she offend you? Our family has nothing to do with Rosie. Yes, we don't actually know about her. Oh right, I just broke up with her. Are you sure that Rosie has no background? Of course. I've looked into it. What kind of background could she have? Maybe she has offended Mr. Sebastian. Thankfully, we have promptly disassociated ourselves with her. Yes. I always think that Brian should be with you. Now, my wish has indeed come true. Oh my, I'm about to wake up laughing from my dream. Mom, we've got the house now. 
Now our wedding can be scheduled. Auntie, rest assured, as long as Brian is with me, a position at Nelson Group will be waiting for him to choose. And me. Didn't expect such good fortune. Where did this come from? This is truly hard to get, really pricey. This is brought by Rosie. As for her, I must have been mistaken then. Come in quickly. Ha <laughs> ha I'll take you to the hospital. No, thanks. It'll cost much. It could take me more than several hundreds. I'll go back and take some medicine myself. Why didn't you fight back just now? Fighting others feels good at that very moment. But what if I had to pay for compensation? You mean just because of that? You know who I am. Such an amount of money is nothing to me. I'll take you to the hospital first, but the company will reimburse this. Ms. Shine, I... Rest assured, tonight, I will certainly seek justice for you. At the same time, it's also a matter of seeking justice for... Ms. Shine, tonight's banquet guest list has already been confirmed. All who are coming are top-notch heads of conglomerate families, as well as important officials. However, Mr. Liam wants to ask for more invitations. These invitations have already been hyped up in Flower City to the worth of hundreds of thousands. What's your opinion? Give him, give him what he wants. Yes. If you don't come, how can I see your regretful faces? What did Ms. Shine say? It seems that Ms. Shine values you highly. She said invitations are available to you. Did she really say that? Yes, she did. It appears that I have left a good impression on her. This is really impressive. I have never been to such a luxurious place in my life. Will this gift work? Although it's fake, it's a very excellent copy. It can still save our faces. I heard Rosie will also come today. Will she expose us? Do you think this banquet is something any Tom, Dick, or Harry can get into? Uncle Auntie, you take the invitations and get in line to enter. I will go with Brian to meet my father first. All right. Let's go. Take care, sister. Hey, isn't that Rosie? Wow, this is Rosie. How can she be so beautiful? You? Even if she is beautiful, she's not as good as Winter. That's indeed right. I didn't expect her to really dare to come. Let me teach her a lesson. You... I didn't think you would still actually dare to come here. Dressing so provocatively. Who are you trying to seduce? Let me tell you. You're not even worthy to carry my son's shoes. How dare you? Do you think I am like your son, living off a woman? I am not that shameless. You bitch, I'll tear you apart. Hey, Auntie, you can't make a scene here. If the big shots find out, we can't afford it. She doesn't have an invitation, so she surely can't get in. Such people. Who knows? They might crawl through the sewer as long as she can get in. Then you worry too much. I will rely on myself and walk in upright and up front. Ha ha ha. You say you will walk in upright and up front. Where is your invitation? Only guests need one. The host naturally does not need that. You really are more and more humorous. Ah, uh, did everyone hear that? She said she is the host of this banquet. So, you are the boss of Nelson Group? Do you want me to greet you with a grand gesture? Ha ha ha! In the past, I just thought you were foolish, but now I think you're incorrigibly stupid. How dare you impersonate Nelson Group's boss? <laughs> oh dear. Thankfully, you didn't marry Brian. Otherwise, with someone like you, an ignorant girl, then our Lane family wouldn't have good days ahead, would we? Missing out on our young miss is truly your greatest misfortune, Miss Rosie Durr. The banquet is about to begin. Don't entangle yourself with them anymore, please. Ah, uh, Auntie, let her go. I just want to see later who is going to be thrown out. They are too noisy. Better leave them outside. Yes.
I just said they definitely can't get in. You are the smart one. These people's invitations are all void. Ah. Oh. You can't let her in. They are not qualified. No loud noises here. Please leave here. We have an invitation. Yeah, we do have an invitation. Now we can go in, right? Still not allowed. Why? Because your invitations are already void. Do you know who invited us? My sister is the daughter of Mr. Larson. So what? You have offended our boss, Ms. Shine. Ah, Ms. Shine. Go and call your organizer over. Okay. Miss Rosie, I'll go find Mr. Larson to check the procedure. Protect our Miss. Strike when it is needed. Yes. How smart you are. You can actually get into a place like this. It seems that you must have taken a long time to dress up. Rosie, just give up. Even if you were naked and stood in front of me, I wouldn't take any glance at you. You are truly a dung beetle matched with a stink bug. A pair of stinkers. You... Brian, don't be angry. She's just being stubborn. I will show her what true power really is. Come on. Since you're already here, there's no point in throwing you away now. However, you are not qualified to sit at any table here, considering you've taken care of Brian for so many years, and even giving us a house as a wedding gift. I have thought of an idea. Serve the dishes. What's going on? Why are there so many dogs at this event? Could it be that the new CEO likes dogs? Someone wants to give a surprise. Please take your seats with these dogs. Miss Rosie, please. These dogs are all precious ones. Can't not be seen outside. You will dine with them, sitting on the ground. It must be a unique experience. Well, does Miss Rosie want me to personally come and invite you to do it? Eat. Hurry up and scram after you finish eating, lest the CEO comes later and feels nausea while seeing you. You like dog food, right? Why don't you try it first? Let go of me. Isn't this Mr. Larson's daughter? Who dares to insult her? Yes, right. This counts as an open provocation towards Nelson Group. You bastard! Dare to insult me? You mean yourself, right? Drag him over here. Yes. Let them enjoy it together. You bitch! Let me go quickly. My father will not let you off. How dare you offend Nelson Group? You'll have no path to the heavens, nor doors to the underworld. Right, I was just looking for him. Where is the security? What are you doing? Hurry up and pull her away. Who dares to cause trouble here? Daniel, help me quickly. Miss Winter? Tonight, Nelson Group holds this banquet. Celebrities from all over the country gather here. You trespassed without permission. You've already committed a taboo, and you still want to escalate the situation. You're truly troubling yourself. I trespassed without permission. Go and ask Henry. If I don't come, would he dare to start it? Rosie, you are nothing but a deserted wife. How dare you spout nonsense here? You are really insane? Such an ignorant person. Dare to offend our vice president. Kneel down. Neil, you're not qualified to ask me to do so. Secretary Daniel is not qualified. What about me, the Director of Human Resources? I should be qualified enough, right? Not enough. <laughs> Interesting. What about the CFO of Nelson Group? Is it qualified or not? Far from enough. Who is this woman? These people are all the top figures of Nelson Group. Who can shake up the entire Flower City with a little move? She regards them as nothing, and yet remains unfazed in the face of them. Indeed. Rosie, you really are a stone in a cesspit, smelly and hard. Kneel down and beg for mercy quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, does anyone else want to stand up for? 
Winter, save our time and come at me all at once. Me, the director of the legal department at Nelson Group. And me, the director of the business department. It seems that Nelson Group is about to be the Lane families. Stop talking nonsense. It was you who lied to us first. And you dare to accuse us of malicious behavior? Do you think the new CEO will believe your words? Nelson Group's current achievements can't be divorced from Mr. Larson's efforts. How dare you slander him? Then, even if you kneel down to apologize, it won't be easily resolved. What great efforts he has made. Dear colleagues of Nelson Group, you have worked hard. Here's to all of you. After drinking the wine, it's time to settle accounts. Who shall we start with? Who the heck are you? The top five executives of Nelson Group are nothing in your eyes. I will not give you the chance to act. Come on. Rosie? You really are ignorant. Break her legs. I just want to see. What'll the one who offends entire Nelson Group turn out to be? Stop it. Why haven't you acted yet? Miss Rosie. You short-sighted fools. Do you know who she is? Step back. Wait a moment. Starting from yesterday, you've been taking hits for her. And today you brought so many people to back her up. You are on a path to ruin yourself. The road ahead is a dead end. This is not a problem for you to consider. What you should do now is to apologize immediately for your father, for the Lane family, and for who have helped you. In my view, you mean that if I don't immediately apologize to her, then she will make all of us lose our jobs. Yes? Rosie, others may not know, but am I not aware? Do you think your position is higher than Mr. Larson's? How dare he treat Ms. Shine in that manner? The person least qualified to speak here is you. You dare to hit me! Notify Uncle Flynn. Bring Henry Larson to see me immediately. Mr. Flynn, this is today's guest list for the banquet. During the past few years, I have devoted my heart and soul to Nelson Group. I hope that after today's banquet, Ms. Shine can hand over that project in HN Province to my daughter. Your daughter wants to join Nelson Group? Ah, uh, don't worry, Mr. Flynn. Her joining in Nelson Group will also go through a rigorous selection. I will absolutely not use any connections to help her. As an outstanding woman, I believe Ms. Shine will certainly favor my daughter. Has Ms. Shine arrived? I want to greet her personally. You really have a good daughter. Heh <laughs> heh, yes, yes, yes. My daughter is indeed very outstanding. Henry Larson, Ms. Shine said, If you cannot arrive at the venue within three minutes to tell the truth and make an apology, hmm, Thelma, then your good days at Nelson Group are coming to an end. Mr. Sebastian, Miss Rosie has already entered the banquet hall. Lead the way. Yes. President, I have already given the orders. Mm-hmm. Keep acting. Never thought I don't know that. You first ignored the ranks, offending everyone, and were even malicious in thought and bringing disaster to the Lane family, as well as the executives here. There's no place for a scoundrel like you here. Exactly. So you were waiting for this moment, ah? Uh, are you trying to ruin my prospects? Are you trying to ruin everyone's prospects? Exactly. Brian and all of you guys, you all think too highly of yourselves. In my eyes, you are nothing. No more idle talk. You think those small potatoes can back you up? Three minutes. You have three minutes to leave here. Or I, on behalf of Nelson Group, will call upon all the distinguished guests to join me in punishing you. Mr. Flynn. Mr. Flynn, please wait for me. 
time is almost up. Three. Two. Are you regretting what you have done? I thought you really weren't afraid of death. Bring me a chair over here. I want to sit here and see. Who dares to touch me? Fine. This woman is a small potato and is despicable. She is doomed to die. Tonight, I shall have her life here. Who's here with me? Me. I will do everything for Miss Winter. I'm in. And me. Right. We will do everything for Miss Winter. Miss Winter? Miss Winter. Miss Winter. Miss Winter. Miss Winter. These idiots know nothing. How dare them mess with her? Nelson Group's been established for a century. Famous for its integrity, never using power to oppress others, not to mention killing. Gentlemen, I'm really impressive of you today. Finding the root cause is the most important. Nelson Group needs to uproot some scourges. You will cry, won't you? Funny. Time's up. Action. Stop. Stop. Mr. Flynn, you're here too. Mr. Flynn. Welcome, Mr. Flynn. Who is he? He is the founder of the group's butler. It is said to be hereditary. His relationship with the founder is very close. I have had the honor to meet him at a banquet. No wonder everyone respects him so much. I have intended to give you a decent end. But now that Mr. Flynn has arrived, he is a pathfinder for our new president. You just wait for your desperate future. I'll wait and see. Mr. Flynn doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'll go and greet him first. All right. You and I now are worlds apart. I can ascend to heaven with the help of winter effortlessly, and you will fall into hell without the chance to be successful. <laughs> now, you can kneel down and beg me. Soon I will let winter grant you a dignified ending, okay? Brian, you still don't understand that. One must rely on oneself. You never know when your backer might fall one day. What did you just do? Uncle Flynn, in the hall, there was an ant. It fancied eating an elephant. A uh, ant? Yes, indeed. Like a mantis trying to stop a chariot, digging its own grave. Please wait a moment. I'll take care of her right away. Mm. What an impressive display of authority. Uncle Flynn, this is Winter. I believe my father has spoken to you about it. He would like you to say some good words for me in front of the new CEO. I'll be very grateful for that. Uncle Flynn, my father is not with you and the new CEO. I can't wait to meet this model of our generation. I'm afraid you wouldn't want to meet her. I understand. You're afraid that the loser is still here now, which might spoil the president's mood, and we might be blamed. Loser? Yes, that woman is so wicked. Having been abroad for a few years, she has contracted numerous diseases. Yet she still wants my boyfriend to marry her. My boyfriend has already no feelings for her. It's been completely over. In order to achieve her own goals, she keeps contacting us. She ignored everyone in the hall. And regard the executives here tonight as nothing. It's so rude of her. Without any respect for rank or seniority, she offends everyone present. And even worse, she wants to regard herself as the master of Nelson Group, wishing to purge the entire place. How arrogant. Such crimes must be punished. Miss Larson has a point. Indeed, that's the case, Uncle Flynn. Now, it's for you to decide. All right, all right, all right. You all did a good job. I have the gift for controlling the field. Thank you for the compliment, Uncle Flynn. Compliment? Tonight, you all must die. Uncle Flynn. Uncle Flynn. Shut up! Are you going to drag everyone into this? I don't want to die yet. How dare you! You can't just call Uncle Flynn like that. Dare you. Uncle Flynn, you... You're so blind. Get out of the way. Holy... Uncle Flynn is coming over here. You, I might get involved. Shut up, too noisy. Stop, otherwise, you don't even know how you died. Sherry, here you are. Who the hell is she? Hello, Ms. Shine. Miss Shine? 
Is Rosie the girl from the Shine family? What exactly is going on? No, this is impossible. Miss, I'm late. Sorry for what you've been through. Please punish me. If you had come too soon, I would still not know. Nelson Group has been so rotten. Please sit. Tonight, whoever made it difficult for Ms. Shine, I will come to you one by one. Uncle Flynn, you must be mistaken. Although Rosie has the surname of Shine, she's an orphan without parents, with no one to depend on. She has nothing to do with you. Winter, shut up. Dad, how you? Bad girl, Neil. Dad, you've never hit me since I was a child. I can't believe you slapped me. For her. How dare you, bad girl. You're in big trouble. Do you have any idea of it? I... Bad girl. Kneel down and apologize. Uncle, that's too much of it. You, you know nothing. Do you have any idea who she is? She is the new CEO of Nelson Group. Rosie, my God. It turns out she is the new CEO. My God. What? I don't believe it. You are lying. Son, you answered the phone. I'm telling you, you must get Rosie back, the security guard said. She is the Miss Shine of Nelson Group. Please forgive me, Miss Shine. Please forgive me, Miss Shine. Considering my contributions to Nelson Group for so many years, please forgive me. Yeah, Miss Shine. Moreover, we're all long-serving Nelson Group. For the sake of our company, we have given our youth and sweat. Please show some mercy. Please show some mercy, Ms. Shine. Vice President Larson, you are lowering yourself too much. In Nelson Group, you are the actual power, aren't you? I'm so flattered. I don't think so. Your daughter, Winter, being the third one knowingly, she has a problem with her personal morality. She and Brian together robbed me of my property. Not it. I can't believe that. Winter is from a noble family, after all. I can't believe she did such a bad thing. The property, I will give it back. I could even buy you another one. No one can take advantage of my property. It's just, if today it's not me here, if I'm not the CEO of Nelson Group, what would you do? You would use your power to oppress your daughter, colluded with many of the executives of Nelson Group, to make things difficult for me. And she kept saying she wanted me dead. That is another thing. Get her over here, now. Kneel down. Miss Shine, you can do anything to her. Dad, Vice President Larson, if you were me, what would you do with her? Your family has such great power. I... I will send her to teach in the remote mountain area for her contempt for life. Dad, I can't go? Stop it. This is already the best ending. Ending? It's not that simple. Winter's affairs have been figured out. There's also the third point which is also the most important. I want to ask you. Get up. It's not the feudal time. There's no need to kneel. I want to ask all of you, if the Larson family has been in charge of Nelson Group. Ms. Shine, I am loyal to Nelson Group. Well, how about you? Do you have anything to say? Ms. Shine, everything happened tonight was all a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Right. It was all a misunderstanding. Tonight, all these disputes were caused by Miss Larson. We were only trying to keep the venue running smoothly, so we had no choice but standing by her side. Yeah, Miss Shine. However, although we were not aware, we're not completely free of fault. I am willing to apologize. Bring me the gift for Miss Shine. This pair of colorful jade mandarin ducks are worth... Quite a lot. Indeed. At least tens of millions. I can't believe that. The CFO of Nelson Group could afford such an expensive gift. Today, for your appointment, I had already prepared these gifts. I also hope that Miss Shine will forgive me considering my sincerity. Please forgive me. Wish Miss Shine all the wealth. May all the wealth come to you. I also have a gift for Miss Shine. Bring it here now. Wow, so beautiful. There are so many talents in Nelson Group. This crown is the crown of Queen Mary from England. It symbolizes the pinnacle of power. May Miss Shine lead Nelson Group to the summit of the world. Hurry up and bring me the gift. And mine. This Patek Philippe is for Miss Shine. Wish Miss Shine all the best at all times. Holy, I thought it was fake ginseng and gave it to director Zora. Now.
This radish is not bad. This is a thousand-year-old ginseng. It's especially rare, even more precious than their gifts. Really? Brian, in your opinion, is this a radish or ginseng? Rosie! Slap him. How dare you say my name? I'll ask you one more time. Is this a radish or ginseng? This is... ginseng? Slap him. I'll ask you one last time. Is this a radish or ginseng? This is... A radish. I'm telling you, this is ginseng. Look carefully. The Lane family is not good enough for me. Get him out of here. Rosie! Rosie! Forgive me this time. Rosie! Rosie! I love you with all my heart. Rosie! Ladies and gentlemen, are you all satisfied with your gifts? You all deserve to die. You're so funny. Yeah, Mrs. Shine. You have a bad sense of humor. Ms. Shine, about this gift. Brian got me fooled. I will make it up for you later. It'll be as good as a thousand-year ginseng. I do not like to joke around. What do you mean, Miss Shine? I mean it literally. Rosie, you're so stupid. Shame on you. Ms. Shine, that's an imposition. I don't really mean that. After all, I am a law-abiding good citizen. Just now when you tried to kill me, that was more aggressive. How about this? Four of you demote yourselves. As for your work, I will find someone to take over it. Impossible. No way. Yeah, Miss Shine. They all made great contributions to the company. You can't ruin it. They're decades of efforts just because of a few words of argument in a moment. That'll be disappointing. Ms. Shine is young, after all, and a woman. She seems to know nothing about. Company management. Nelson Group is in danger. It might be heading towards decline. Since this is the case, let me tell you what mistakes you've made. These gifts are all priceless. Yeah. Do you blame us for these priceless gifts we gave? It doesn't make sense. If that's the case, Ms. Shine, I'm afraid it feels like you're picking on us on purpose. Exactly. That's indeed the case. What? I think she lost her mind. Vice President Larson, let me ask you, what's the annual salary of the executives of Nelson Group? Tell me. Two million plus performance and options bonus. That's enough. You got it? Corruption is to be despised everywhere. If you dare to refute, I will pursue it to the end. I didn't expect her to be so sharp. But, Ms. Shine, even so, your punishment is too severe, isn't it? Everyone present is the root and heritage of Nelson Group. If they don't cooperate with you, it may lead to a great trouble. That's true. If Ms. Shine insists, there'll be a life and death struggle. I'll leave Nelson Group completely. The finance department will be paralyzed. So do I. Me too. Great. Bring me the resignation agreement. Have her sign it. Ms. Shine, please don't. Mrs. Shine, you want to destroy the company? Stop hamming it up. Let's see how you beg me to come back. Bring me my certificates. This is the most authoritative international CPA certificate. I obtained it during my studies. Then I will take over all the work of the company's finance department. What? Mrs. Shine still holds something back. My God, these certificates are so hard to get. It seems that she really has something. Do you want to sign it? I will. I don't believe that you can do everything. Keep the agreement. Ms. Shine, please don't get emotional. Bring me all my certificate. This is the first level certificate of a charm. She really made it. Ms. Shine is a genius. This is international accountant qualification. This is PMP certificate. I have many more. You want to see all of them? This is all your fault. Yeah, if it weren't for you, it'd not be like this. You blame me? Stop. Ms. Shine, you're excellent, but it's not enough to manage a company only with theories. Vice President Larson, don't worry about it. When she was a student, Ms. Shine started the giant. It's one of the top hundreds. What? She is the one behind the giant? Vice President Larson, will you join them? Uncle Flynn, take the contract. Hold on. 
We're safe. Rosie, since you're so ungrateful, then don't blame me. Rosie, how dare you drive away the heroes of Nelson Group? Madam Shane. Grandma, I... Shut up! You evil! Do you want to destroy the inheritance of the Shine family? Madam Shine, you... Shut up! You're not qualified to take to me! She acts recklessly, and you're helping her. Damn you! You should go home and retire. Grandma, Uncle Flynn is our direct family. Please watch your mouth. Don't you dare lecture me. Grandma, I respect you as my elder. I'll let it go, but you have no right to interfere in Nelson Group. How dare you? Rosie, as the heir to Nelson Group, you act recklessly and make arbitrary decisions. For a loser, you broke the engagement with the Sears family, putting the Shine family in a dilemma. Do you really think that you're in charge of the Shine family? Good point. You can't fire any of them in the company today. Thank you for your support. Grandma Shine, Ms. Shine asked me to teach in the countryside. Please help me. You must be winter, right? Don't worry, I'll speak for you. Vice President Larson, I agreed to what you asked me to think about. From now on, Winter is the fiancé of our Evan. What? My father and Madam Shine have such an agreement. Madam Shine, Ms. Shine's going to get married after all. By then, the Shines won't be in charge of Nelson Group. In your opinion, what should I do? Take it over. Take it over. I know who you've been thinking for so many years. I'll use my connections in Nelson Group for so many years to help Evan take it over. On what condition? Make Evan marry my winter. Their children can also inherit Nelson Group. Wow. Madam Shine is so far-sighted. Grandma, you are determined to protect them? I want more than that. I also want to have you removed from the position of CEO of Nelson Group. This company is always owned by the Shines. Brian, how are you? Is Rosie really the new CEO of the Nelson International? Yes. Holy. I told you, Ms. Shine looked distinguished. You still wanted to get her offended? Otherwise, I could have gotten the offer from Nelson Group. With Ms. Shine's connection, I could get a good job anyway. And now... Come on, let's go. Let's go home. She has already spared me once. I wonder what will happen to those who offend her in there. Let's go. Let's go. Wait a minute. Are you saying she has spared you once? Yes. Wow, that means she still has feelings for you. It must be like this. Over the years she's been abroad, every month she sent money back to you. How could it just stop all of a sudden? Brian, this is our chance. That's true. Nelson Group was given to me by my dad. You are a woman. What can you possibly do? It would be better to hand it over to Evan. Sis, no matter how excellent you are, the company still has to be handed over to a man. So you admit yourself a loser. You. Don't make meaningless arguments. Yes, Grandma. I am a loser, not the people around me. I'm right, aren't I? Vice President Larson. Of course. If Mr. Evan could become the CEO of the company, I am willing to assist Mr. Evan to create more glory for Nelson Group. Good. I am willing to go through thick and thin with Mr. Larson. We're willing to go through thick and thin with Mr. Larson. Do you understand now? That's too much. Ungrateful. Nelson Group was built by Ms. Shine's father. You people have banded together to seize power. The belongings of the Shine family should stay with the Shine family. I can't believe I could suddenly become someone above Rosie. You're so wise, Grandma. Hand over the company seal and go back abroad. I don't agree. I don't agree. Mr. Sears, what a surprise. I feel so familiar with this man. You finally came back. 
Mr. Sears. We know that this bad girl ruined the engagement without cause. Leaving the Sears family embarrassed, we will never tolerate it. Today I will drive her out of Nelson Group. Someone, take Rosie down for me. Stop. Madam Shine, you're overly concerned. I'm here today to propose to Ms. Shine. Grandma, what should we do now? Mr. Sears, we have never met before. It's a little abrupt for you to propose rashly, isn't it? How dare you? You're so ungrateful. Rosie is digging her own grave. Ms. Shine, you got Mr. Sears embarrassed in the public? You really are not good to be the leader of Nelson Group. Yeah, Miss Shine. How can you talk to Mr. Sears like this? Miss Shine, you're so rude. Even if her father comes back, it won't save her. Sebastian, hello. Rosie. May I have the honor of inviting Miss Shine for a casual meal? Sure, but I have to deal with these first. I'd like everyone to cooperate. I don't like to waste time. What? Mr. Sears is not angry at Rosie like this. Ah, uh, Rosie. Don't worry about the company. Just stay with Mr. Sears. I won't give up. Nelson Group. You. Ms. Shine is outstanding. Now, with the support of Mr. Sears, I'll leave to fulfill the agreement. Ms. Shine, please don't put me in the blacklist. Please leave me a way out. Director Chevin. Mr. Larson, thank you for your guidance. I accept it. Just leave. Anyone else? We're also willing to leave. Ms. Shine, please give us a break. I am willing to resign. I hope Ms. Shine could give me a break. I'm willing to resign, Mizzou's. Shine, please show some mercy. Rosie, you're going too far. Uncle Flynn, please deal with these first. As for the others, wait until I come back to deal with it. Yes, miss. Mr. Sears, please. Please. Rosie, please forgive me. I saved your life before, so please forgive me this time. Yeah, couples always make up after fights. Never mind. All right, Rosie. Son, are you okay? Rosie, take a look at Brian. Rosie, how can you be so heartless? Exactly, Rosie. Brian is your boyfriend. How could you leave with another man? Heartless. How dare you say it? Rosie! Rosie! Mom, Rosie has left. Grandma, what should we do next? Madam Shine, as long as Ms. Shine marries Mr. Sears, they will be unstoppable. I'm just afraid they'll settle scores later. I don't really care. But you only have one grandson. Then don't blame me for being ruthless. Where is the loser? Rosie was with before. Bring him here. Why do you insist on marrying me? Considering the power of the Sears family, choosing a qualified wife is very easy for you. You saved my life. I'll repay you with our marriage. Saved your life? Yeah. Help! 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 So, you want to thank me for saving your life when we were kids? Not exactly. There's no need to worry about it. It was my instinctive reaction. Mr. Sears, if you come any closer, I'll accuse you of harassment. You don't need my gratitude, but I need you to thank me. Thank you for your help just now. Yes. Actually, I could solve it myself. Sebastian, something goes wrong at home. Come back now. Okay, we'll be there right away. Do me a favor. Please take her to the hospital. This is the medical fee. 
Sure, I'll get it done. It was you. What's all the hurry? He took my house and deceived my feelings. He made me work for him for years. I can't bear with that. Do you need help? I will get revenge by myself. I had concerns before. But now, I've got Taekwondo black belt. I wasn't trained for nothing. All right, I'll give you 10 minutes. If you're not out in 10 minutes, I'll go in to help you. 10 minutes, that's enough. Mom, it hurts. Rosie is despicable. She colluded with that man and hurt my son so badly. Aunt, choose your words carefully. Mr. Sears and Rosie, we can't offend either of them. Well, she can't hear us. Just wait until you marry Rosie. I'll teach her a lesson. Mom, Madam Shine has agreed to help me. Son, you must cooperate. The Shine family is very rich. Ms. Shine is here. Aunt, hurry up and let Brian go out to greet her. She visits our home at midnight. Maybe she wants to get back with him. Of course I know what she wants, but she just let that man hit Brian and humiliated us. This time, I won't let her off. Right. We must teach her a lesson. Otherwise, once they get married, she'll walk all over us. Let me meet with her. I'll go too. Where is Brian? Are you here to apologize? I'm telling you, it's too late. Apologize. Aren't you here to beg for Brian's forgiveness? I'm telling you, the Lane family has rules. If you want to be the daughter-in-law of our family, apologize sincerely. What kind of sincerity do you want? Shares of Nelson Group, of course. That's right. Otherwise, Aunt won't let you in. That's a pity. Good. A woman like you, you collude with other men, disrespect the in-laws, and don't care about your husband. Big mistakes in ancient times. It seems your parents haven't taught you well. You choose to be licentious. Well, if it weren't for you coming so late to apologize, I wouldn't come to see you. That's a pity. I'm not here to apologize. What did you say? Rosie, just apologize. Apologizing to elders is not shameful. Is there anything wrong about your ears? Why not come and listen closely? Let me tell you. You immoral old woman. How dare you insult my parents? You slapped me. I'm telling you, I... What? I thought you don't want Brian to marry me. Stop! How dare you hit my mother? Have you forgotten how I saved your life? Today, I'm here to repay your kindness. Apologize to my mom. You all are really shameless. Move. You awful woman! How dare you smash my stuff! Your stuff? I gave it to Brian. And this? I bought it. This one too. Somebody stop her! Stop her! You... you betrayed me. Why don't you tell us about the truth? Was it really you who saved me? What do you mean? Well, a despicable man like you will never offer help to others. I've already known the truth. Things you've taken from me, I will take them all back for the house. I'll find the best lawyers to take it back. As for you, if you dare to provoke me again... I will not let you off. This one. I bought it.
Call Madame Shine now. This woman, you must marry her. I will teach her a lesson. Wipe it. I just blame myself for trusting the wrong people. Will you accept my proposal? Marriage is not a joke. Mr. Sears. I understand. I'll give you a few days to consider, Raycom. Bye. Let's go. Yes. Turn around to the shines. Have some water, please. Ms. Lee, I'm a bit tired. I'll go take a rest. Ms. Lee. Did she drink it? As you asked, I've let her drink it. That's good. Is Brian arriving soon? Rosie, we are destined to be together. Grandma, what if Uncle finds out what we have done? Don't worry. After all, I'm his mother. A real man does not lack in venom. Rosie likes Brian. We're just helping her. Yes, the Shine family doesn't want a woman who's been defiled. However, you're right. We can't leave anything against us. Lee, leave immediately once you let him in. Yes. Wait for me here. Hello. Everything's ready. Just go in. Hurry. It seems that I have to wait for him to leave. Rosie. Rosie, what happened? Darn. Rosie. I'll carry you to bed. Rosie, wake up. Wait. Why hasn't boss come out yet? You asked us to come so early. For a cheater. It was the Shine family's fault to have raised such a woman. I hope the Sears family can spare us this time for the sake of my sincerity. But the Sears family has broken off the engagement with the Shine family. Indeed. But Mr. Sears doesn't give up. Today, I just want you to come and see. It's not the Shine family's fault. My granddaughter's private life is too licentious. She doesn't deserve to marry Sebastian. Since you're already here, let's go and take a look. Rosie, you won't get off this time. Madam, they are in the room. I'll leave first. What?
Why are you acting like a dog? Why are you in my bed? I'm telling you. Even so, I still won't marry you. You might have me, but you won't have my heart. I'll go take a shower first. I acted inappropriately towards him. Was there anything in the water last night? No, I must figure it out. How dare you? What you've done has tarnished the Shine family's reputation. Grandma, it's early in the morning. What are you doing here? If you can't, give me an explanation. I won't let you off. Look at her. She is such a despicable woman. Look how she talks to me without manners. Madam, you shouldn't blame her. You slapped her without asking. No one would accept that. If you want to catch someone, you need the evidence first. It's better to ask her first. Grandma just gets a bit anxious. Open the door now. Who was with you in that room last night? Yes, open the door. Dad, Mom, why are you here? How could it be him? What are you doing here? Mr. and Mrs. Sears, please don't misunderstand us. It's just as you suspect. Rosie is my fiance. You just asked, how could it be me? What does that mean? Could there be someone else? You bitch! How dare you say that? These people are up to no good. If you fight with them, they will spread rumors about you. Leave that to mom. Mom. My girl. How could you call her immoral? Accusing Rosie of being immoral is to indicate that the Sears family has corrupted public morals. I didn't mean that. Please listen to me. You must not be deceived by Rosie's appearance. That's right, Mrs. Sears. The reason Rosie broke off the engagement was because she was in love with someone else. That man is Brian. Therefore. As you said, that's in the past time, not now. I'm speaking with Madame Shine. How dare you interrupt? You're even not part of the family. Winter is a family. She is about to get married. So she hasn't married yet. Then why is she here when we're talking about the Shine family? That's inappropriate. Mrs. Sears, that's not fair. Fair. I'm here to back Rosie up. Not to arbitrate fairness. Rosie has been waiting for a long time. I wonder if she's awake yet. However, as long as I'm lying with her on her bed, the plan will work out. Madam Shine is thoughtful. The door is still open. That's my mom. She always talks like that. Why are you still laughing? You've ruined the family reputation. Reputation? What you've done this morning was to ruin me, wasn't it? Nonsense. How could I possibly do such things? That's right, Rosie. How could you do that to Grandma? This is slander. The Shine family ca cannot possibly do such despicable things. Madam Shine, I'm late. Has Rosie taken the drug? It really is you. You? Go change first. Okay. What else do you have to say? What? I know you don't want to marry Sebastian. I heard you like Brian, so I want to help you. Why do you want to blame me? Shame on you, you old frog. You... I've never seen such a shameless person like you. You do anything to achieve your goal. You don't even care to ruin your granddaughter's life. I will teach you a lesson on how to be a decent person. Are you aware of your mistake? How dare you hit me? Admit your mistake. You? Why are you sitting there? Come and stop her. Dare to interfere with the Sears family? Grandma, you both are losers. Grandma, Grandma.
Rosie, don't misunderstand. I am usually a very gentle and kind woman. This time, I just really can't stand them bullying you like this. Mrs. Sears, is your hand okay? It hurts a bit. Anyway, your grandma is really a thick-skinned person. Why hasn't Brian come back yet? Could it be something unexpected happened? Don't worry, just wait for the good news. What did I tell you? It must be good news. Answer the phone. Answer the phone, darling. Take it easy. Hello, son. Hello, is this a family member of the phone owner? It is. Who's speaking? This is Health Hub Hospital. The phone owner was in a car crash. He's being resuscitated now. You need to come now. What? That's impossible. What's wrong? What happened? Brian had a car accident. Brian had a car accident. Grandma. grandma. You won't get off this. If anything happens to my grandma, I won't let you off. Is this emergency center? The patient will get well soon. Just scratches. It might be an emergency shock. Are you a doctor? She has just fainted. How could she get well soon? Stop talking like that. This is the best doctor in our hospital. That's strange. This is the first time I've seen someone hoping for their relative to be seriously ill. You really care about her. Since there's nothing serious, we'll leave now. The pain is killing me. That awful woman. I'm not wearing this. Have some water, Grandma. You two losers. Grandma, I was really scared. Grandma, they are the Sears family, and if we fought with them, they'll never let us off. Yes. Jason, come to the hospital now. I have been humiliated. I don't want to live anymore. Tell me, what did you do to Brian? He's in hospital now. Well, you must be the woman who raised a despicable son. And who are you? I'm telling you, if anything happens to Brian, I will make you pay. I've never heard someone talking to me like this in my life. Darling, do I look like someone vulnerable? Of course not. You definitely look like a tiger. What do you mean? Please, darling, I am praising you. Shouldn't we present a united front now? I'll deal with you when we get back. Rosie, this is how to be with men. In the future, if you hit Sebastian, I will still be on your side. Well, what did you say about your son? My son was in a car accident. He is being resuscitated right now. Did I hit your son? No. Was it Rosie? Even if there is no direct relation, there should be an indirect relation. You should call the police and turn yourself in. Because when you take one more breath, there will be someone dead from lacking of oxygen in this world. You are a murderer. You are talking nonsense. That's not the truth. Dad, Mom. Hello. You, you, you are the Sears family. Yes. From now on, I'm Rosie's mother-in-law. Anyone who wants to bully her will have to get past me first. And just stop here. Who are Brian Lane's relatives? Here, ah. Uh. Be careful. They've done too many bad things. That's called karma. That mom... Rosie, come to Mom. Sorry you have to experience these. Mom. Why did you come back?
If it weren't for the butler, I wouldn't have known what happened. Such a big incident. When will you tell us about that? I can solve it myself. We know you can, but with us here, you'll always be our little girl. So touching. Honey, I'm so touched. What a happy family. Mr. and Mrs. Shine, I'm Sebastian. All right, don't let Rosie's parents laugh at us. Mrs. Sears is of good temperament. We all know about that. It is really lucky for us. These two kids are together again after all. Yes, Rosie and Sebastian are a great match. I'm really looking forward to having a grandchild soon. Mom. Uncle, please come. Grandma's going to end her life. If I find out it is your family behind all this, I'll stop all the financial support to you. Uncle, I hate developed for not getting more. The old saying is right. Uncle, lead the way. Hurry. Grandma, I won't live. I don't want to live anymore. Grandma, you can't die. Grandma. Mom. What are you doing? Come down. I have been humiliated. Anyone can insult me. I've been beaten into the hospital for the first time. Because you haven't met me earlier. What kind of life it is? Mom, just come down. What if you fall? Okay, I'm coming down. Okay. But you need to transfer the company's shares to Evan. Mom, it's Adam's career. He gained that with hard work. Now you ask us to hand it over. How could this be possible? Shut up. You awful woman gave birth to that stupid girl. How could you possibly carry on family lineage of the Shine family? Adam should divorce you. Mom, stop. Apart from the shares, I also want you to make Rosie leave the family, or I will cut all ties with you. I will jump from here. Make your decision now. I will count to three. Mom, please forgive me. I can't agree to your demands. I am Rosie's father. It's my responsibility to protect her. I've already known everything. You, Madam Shine, do you need any help? She's holding on quite tightly. Does she need me to help her let go? Mrs. C, it seems not right. That's my mom. She might be able to do anything. Don't scare me. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Grandma. Mom, from today, I'll stop all the financial support for my older brother's family. As for your living expenses, I will give it to you on time. Let's do it this way. Your son might never wake up again. Henry Larson? Yes. Upon investigation, you are involved in the Nelson Group corruption case. Come with us for further investigation. What do you like about me? Everything. 